did we did a 16 by 16 okay. mud hut for a family of four so a mom a widow and her four kids family of five sorry her, wow. a widow and her four kids who had been living in a four by four with another family so yeah <laughs> four feet by, by four, four feet. feet with another family. How is that possible? It, Best place to high, so, high five someone in the face would be in the face. Oh! So now Top so Golf. So I'm gonna. Top Golf. Top Golf. Top Golf. Top Golf. Top Golf. Huh. Say that five times fast. Right. Top Golf. Top Golf. Top Golf. Top Golf. That's hard. <laughs> The fun never ends. Welcome to my show, you guys. Thank you. You ladies. I'm really happy. Oh, well, I am so glad that y'all are here because we're going to have an amazing show. <laughs> we have our friends Twee and Rebecca here. Twee, where, um, can I ask, where is your name from? I've never heard that. I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam, mm -hmm. all right. And what does it mean? Do you know what your name means? Friend. Oh, that's beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. Sorry, I just got to put on my show shoes here. Thank you. Oh, so much better. <laughs> All right. Um, that's awesome. So, and Rebecca, do you know what your name means? Well, I know I got my name from my mom. Okay. Because she named me. There's a start. Yes. I cool. honestly, I have no idea what my name means. I think it's something along the lines of loyal. All right. uh, that's all I got, though. That's good. That's a start. Nice. Well, my name is Amanda, and it means no. worthy to be loved. Mm, that's cute. Fun. Yeah. It's really funny, though, because I know it's so random. We're talking about names to open this show, but, but uh, there were so many Amandas in, like, my year of being born. It was like Amanda, Ashley, Lindsay, Jennifer. They're all, like, names of the 80s that when I got my first job at the zoo, I worked at the zoo feeding people. Um, there were so many Amandas that they would, and Amanda, and in an A, it's a vowel, so, um, <laughs> newsflash, and so they would put our last name initial at the end of our name, so my name was Amanda F. <laughs> yeah, it was very nice, very nice of them, because my maiden name is Farmer, and it starts with an F, so. All right, but we're not here to talk about names. <laughs> <laughs> At least not the whole show. We're here to talk about some pretty cool things that are happening in our world. Ezra, did you just whistle? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Please don't do that while we're filming. <laughs> we are here to talk about some pretty cool things that y'all are up to. Um, first of all, Rebecca, where are you from? You're McMinnville. McMinnville, okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm from right here in town, I pretty much was born and raised here and I honestly can't imagine living in another town. Okay. Um, but I do, I've only ever known this town and I kind of want to get out. So, sure. <laughs> As any small town girl would. <laughs> exactly. So next year, during the summer, I'm going to be going to Kenya. What? With Twee. Cool. Now, so you got in contact with Twee. Yes. So you are not a part of the open hand Kempo no, thing no, she's... I do a different kind of martial arts. Okay, right on. Um, well, okay, so you meet, mm -hmm. sparks yes. fly, things happen, good things. Yes, um, good sparks. Yes, of course, good sparks. <laughs> good sparks. Like, yay, we can help each other out on this yeah. awesome new adventure. Um, let's turn the attention to you. So w what is Breaking Boundaries? Um, so we started breaking it? boundaries a couple years ago. Uh, we kind of got the idea of taking uh, kids from our community to Kenya to do community service projects. Okay. Um, mainly because I've actually been leading uh, short-term trips there for about 20 years. And okay. so Kenya, and I lived in Kenya for a couple years, so okay. I love Kenya. Um, Why were you living in Kenya? I actually do sports ministry. Okay. So it, I, I got to travel all over Africa uh, using sports as a way to tell people about the gospel. That so, is yeah. awesome. So yeah, it was an amazing time. And so I've led uh, probably about 
close to 30 short-term trips mm -hmm. uh, for different people and companies and churches and stuff. And so um, uh, we had a friend of mine here from Kenya, and he did some soccer clinics with the M. Hill Carlton uh, Together Cares uh, community. And um, and then from there, they were like, he was like, well, why don't you come to Kenya and do some soccer? And then it just kind of skyrocketed, and we ended up taking 23 people from the Yamhill community nice. to Kenya. And then this time we have 30 going. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's awesome. Yeah. And so we actually have, I think, six girls from the uh, Pacific University lacrosse team going this time. So, wow. yeah. So really, we're kind of expanding a little bit. But our, our goal is to take people that haven't um, necessarily left the U.S. Mm -hmm. and going to see a different part of the world and doing, doing something good for people. Yeah. Well, and um, in... Some of the circles that I run in, <laughs> short term missions is can be look, like can be frowned on because right. this isn't you, actually missions. This is community service. Okay, yes. so that's that's really great yes. because yeah. because lots of the um, lots of the time with short term missions, you you go and you quote unquote help when really, and you can read articles on this right. yeah. in the yes. on the internet and in yes. the newspaper but it, it, they do more damage than they do yes. good and it becomes more of a vacation yes. and yes. it's just all weird yes. so can you just uh, in a nutshell run us through what you do when you know wheels hit the ground what do you do when you get there so um, we do f we go to four different areas we go to Nairobi uh, and we work with New Dawn School which is a, a school there in the uh, in the Harare slums mm -hmm. um, and we usually do like uh, we take the senior class of New Dawn School to uh, an outing of some sort because as they've never gone on a field trip, that's mm. not something that's obviously budgeted in schools over there. So okay. we take them on a uh, an outing for the day. So the the kids we ride in the the bus with the kids. Last time we went to the elephant rescue mm. and spent the day there, Fun. and then we did an actual big. Um, uh, banquet for the seniors and, oh, nice. and yeah so something they'd never had and mm -hmm. so it was a really great day for our kids to spend time with their kids and they all had uh, the names of one of those kids and so they they each had a basket or a, a bag of stuff that they had purchased specifically oh, cool. for each of those kids and so they spent the day with those kids oh, and fun. just kind of saw what Kenyan kids you know, yeah, building there. international mm -hmm. relationships. Yes, yeah. That's so and a great. lot of them are pen pals now and stuff. So oh, that's, that's, that's the great. best. Yeah. So and then we go to um, uh, Eldoret, Kenya, which is where I was kind of stationed for a couple years, mm -hmm. and um, uh, we work at Jami School, which is a school that I have been with since the beginning, mm -hmm. and uh, they started with eight kids in a little mud hut and now have almost 400 kids so Whoa, and we awesome. have a feeding program for them so a lot of times the the only food they eat is in this school mm -hmm. so um so they get breakfast and lunch at the school and then they go home um it's monday through friday um and uh most of their fees are paid so mm -hmm. and it's in this uh, the, also the slums of Longus there mm -hmm. then we go to oyugi's um and there we do um uh, we cr we build a mud hut, oh. so yeah. So that was like the highlight of the trip last oh, time. Wow. I had yeah. never done one, and it was the hardest, <laughs> best day ever. Oh, okay. um, nice. yes, it was so difficult because oh. <laughs> we we literally had no tools, and we started out <laughs> with sticks and had to um, dig holes. I think we had to dig like thirty holes that wow. were four feet deep to put the posts for the the mud hut with sticks yes oh my god yeah it was it was hard and then we had to walk i think it was like two miles and pick up like the branches and stuff to bring back so that we could build the hut so yeah. then you do the fa the framework and in in basically and twigs <laughs> and wow and how big is one of their huts like um, 10 by 10 so we by did we did a 16 by 16 okay. mud hut for a family of Four, so a mom, a widow, and her four kids, family of five, sorry, wow. a widow and her four kids who had been living in a four by four with another family. So, yeah. <laughs> four feet by, by four, four feet. feet with another family. How is that possible? It, you, it, that's what happens. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And I, and I've been to El Salvador. Like, okay. I've seen slums. Right. And so, I, 
Yeah. 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 I mean, it's been a while, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like going yeah. through my memory banks, yeah. like some yeah. of the things I've seen. I'm yeah. like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. It, That's it was, amazing. So yeah. 16 by 16, they're like, woo! Yeah. <laughs> That's so, awesome. Yeah, it was That's really amazing. amazing. So yeah, and then we had to bring in water and then we had to break the ground up and then make the mud mm -hmm. and then take big, huge piles of mud and put them into the frame. And I mean, we were... Yeah, mud head to toe, just covered in mud. Sure. And so I, we, we were like, we were, got the outside done, and and the kids were, we had, I think we had eighteen kids that were under eighteen. Okay. So, um, wow. and they were they were wondering if the mom and kids were moving in that night, and I'm like, no, because the inside's not done. They're like, we're we're not leaving till the inside's done. So the kids decided that we would stay an extra five hours and actually awesome, finish though, the hut. They, they really want to see the reaction. Yes. They want to see yes. them yes. move in. Yeah, it was That's amazing. Awesome. It was, yeah, and and for all the kids, that was the highlight was oh. was making that hut and That's and so then cool. being able to like figuratively give the keys to the mom and yeah. say you that's know, so down. great yeah so she moved in that night so okay yeah. so now this all makes sense why you would want to come yeah Rebecca that sounds amazing I'm, I I'm scared because you know I've never been exposed to the slums that you guys are talking mm -hmm. about I have no the closest thing that I've seen to that is simply the homeless situation here, here. in McMinnville yeah. but um, I'm also really excited because yeah, I, I kind of want to get some get muddy. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah, well, and it's such a blessing too. Um, so what are you? Let's talk about Kempo. Yes. What do you plan on um, adding to this trip? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was thinking about it was something. So martial arts. <laughs> um, what can I do? <laughs> on the first meeting. I mentioned that I had been studying for around 10 years at this one school, Open Hand Kempo. Mm -hmm. And Twee seemed pretty impressed with that. Um, and later we talked more about it, and she wants me to run self-defense classes when we get there. So you've been 10 years, you've been training in Kempo? 10 years. That's and awesome. It's been a lot of fun. I've seen a lot of people come and go. I've seen a lot of people succeed. Nice. And I want to take that success to Kenya. Yeah. One of the things, I talked about it a little bit at the Chamber of Chamber Commerce. Commerce. Yeah. Um, I not only want to give these kids self-defense, I want to give them self-esteem. Nice. Because if they don't think they're worth defending, mm. they're never going to use anything I show them. Yeah. And hopefully just by having a move, they'll believe that. Mm -hmm. But my main goal when I get there and after I start teaching is to throw out as many attaboys as I humanly can. <laughs> and atta girls. Because, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> atta you. Atta you. Yeah. <laughs> high fives and hugs for everyone. Exactly. Um, All the high fives. But <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just a part of life really over there. Um, just hearing about it, that yeah. self-defense is crucial. You just, everyone, I feel like everyone needs a class Absolutely. or two or three or four or five. <laughs> Uh, on this planet, yeah. but especially so, um, especially living in slums, like you are constant, you, there's the potential of being taken advantage of way too much. Like the percentage is just way yeah. too much. Um, so that's awesome. That is so cool. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm excited because we are going to do a little, uh, demonstration yes. a little kempo demonstration um I so wear this uniform for nothing yeah I know, right <laughs> you just wear it all the time don't you yes i just sleep like in this every day yeah it's <laughs> okay. really comfy i thought so <laughs> all right okay ladies so rebecca you're gonna show me just a good old-fashioned move in case people are gonna jump out at you yes yes so it's just one simple hand strike okay high five Wow. There you go. You're going to high five him? Pretty much. Um, <laughs> at the dojo, a kid told me this really stupid phrase. I didn't slap you. I high-fived your face. Oh, okay. And, yeah, that's pretty yeah. much it. You just high-five them. So if Twee holds up the bag, this is what we call a palm heel strike. All right. Instead of letting a high-five swing up and back, you just let it, your hands come up like some scary attacker is trying to attack you. Mm -hmm. And you let your hands shoot straight out. Like you're gonna ah. high five them. And you're gonna high five her in the boob? No. Sorry, no, I'm sorry. You're gonna yeah. high five them. Where's the like the best 
place to do it. Best place to high, so high five someone in the face would be in the face. <laughs> oh! Specifically, the jaw. Oh. If you hit the jaw just right, first of all, it friggin' hurts. Yeah. Second of all, you could potentially knock them out. Wow, just by using the palm of your hand. Just by using the palm of your hand, the heel of the palm oh. of your hand. That's the palm heel strike. Okay, yeah. wow. You wanna high five the bag a couple of times? Hey! No. <laughs> I'm not your okay. I'm going to be ready for you. <laughs> All right. You never know what will happen. Maybe I shouldn't have taught you any moves. Hey. No, I'm just kidding. Just let it come straight out. There you go. Yay. You got it. Throw it again. Nice. Oh, I yeah. feel the power in my hands. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to pretend. Yeah, you better be scared. Yeah. We're going to be thieves. Yes. And you're going to be a little old lady walking yes. through a dark alley. Here's your purse. I have a purse. We're going to try. Well, this is my purse. Darn don't it. get excited. No, don't get too excited. Okay. And we're going to try and steal it from you. You ready, Twee? Yes. Okay. Oh, Eva no. Beaver. I hope nobody comes out to steal my purse. Give us oh, all your give money. Me your purse. Oh. oh. No, like bad, like, oh, yes. good job, wow. Okay, so yeah. I'll, now I'll try it. You your I feel like I've learned a lot. <laughs> okay, okay. So I have even more moves. Go behind, behind, the okay. oh, behind, behind the bushes. Oh, you can go behind the bushes. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm just a little old lady. Whoa. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. What? <laughs> 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 That's called the stiletto heel strike. Can I do it right? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> All right, let's learn one more trick of the trade. One more move. One more good, good old uh, fashioned. This one is a double fashion. lapel grab. This Ooh. is if someone, it can either be used against someone trying to choke you or with someone simply grabbing you, maybe trying to pin you against a wall. Ah. Something like that. Okay. So Twee's going to be my partner for this. Okay. And she's gonna grab me. My hands go up. Ah. Very first thing, my hands go up. Okay. Because pretty much. What if you're holding a beer? Well, okay. you drop that beer. Because I can see this go, happening like this. in a bar. It's I'm just like saying. This. Oh, okay. One hand at least goes up, and the other one's just kind of holding your beer. Okay. And then the rest of the move happens. Ooh, whoa, dang! That was. Did you guys I'll see show, that? I'll that show was it amazing. Again. This time, I actually. Do Let's me. do slow mo. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your hands go up. Okay. You're gonna stick your hand down between hers. Yeah. Clap. Ooh, hi. And then I tell the kids, rainbow. Oh, nice. And you come right back up with a palm. I love strike. how magical that just turned in. That yeah. just turned into like a thing. <laughs> okay, okay, do it to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? Trying to get my beer? This it happens all the time in a bar, yeah, right? Like this much. is what. Because this, this is how you grab someone for their beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Or you're mad at me because I was like making fun of your dog or something. I'm like, Ksh! clapping rainbow attack. There you yes. go. Yes. Oh, and oh, and, and then, then I hit you. Strike wow, you. nice. Don't yeah. to hit me. Okay. Wee, I love that move. Yes. Oh, I'm totally See, using it. The really important part of these moves, times. though. Yes. For any of these moves. They're only to be used against bad guys. Ah, so I Not can't use it against my mom. Or your mom. <laughs> when she's trying to kiss me, hey, I'm like, get off my face. Not against your pets or your furniture. Uh, okay, fine. Well, that was awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Let's uh, let's finish up. I've got some okay. trivia questions to ask you now. Oh, boy. I know. This will be awesome. Put the purse in a top So golf. I'm going to. Top golf. Top golf. Top golf. Top golf. Huh. Top golf. Say that five times fast. Right. Top golf, top golf, top golf, top golf. That's hard. All right. You turned it to top golf. <laughs> top golf, top golf, top golf, top golf, yes. top golf, top golf. You try it. Try it. Why? <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow, cool. I took Taekwondo as a kid. The coolest, though, was I got to be an, a Korean exchange student, or oh, an exchange yeah. student to Korea. I was like you. I went, wasn't a Korean exchange student. I was an American exchange student. So you went to Korea. <laughs> yes, for Dude. two weeks, and 
just so happened to be uh, my host family. The dad was a grandmaster in Taekwondo and had his own studio. Wow. We lived above it. Whoa. Yeah. And it was amazing. His kids were like fifth and sixth degree black belts at that point, and they were yeah. only in high school. And um, yeah. anyway, that was really cool. And I, I didn't speak any Korean, and they did not speak any English. They oh, had yeah. we had little translators. <laughs> this was back in 2002. Oh so my gosh. It was gosh. like before Google Translate and all that stuff. Yeah. And so we had a hard time speaking with one another, but it was still really fun. And I finally like communicated to them that I was. I was a green belt and stuff. They're like, oh, That's you so little baby. Cool. You know, like, little baby. Little That's baby. Adorable. Yeah. Baby. Okay, so you're going to Kenya. You used to live there. Yeah. So you should know some of these fun facts that oh, I looked up. No. Oh, Do you yes. Know how many facts there are about Kenya? Too many. Mm -hmm. But these are the top anything. 30. Oh, we're, top not gonna, 30. we're not going to go through all 30. <laughs> so. Um, true or false? Kenyan men can have more than one wife. True. True. <laughs> what, how many wives have you met to one man? Like, uh, what's the most? I think the most was like 10. No. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's a whole conversation right mm -hmm. there. Wangari Mathai became the first African women, woman to win a blank prize in 2004. What was that prize? A cow. No, no, like the the like, name of like the a prize. Nobel oh. Peace prize. Yes, or it was oh. the Nobel Peace oh Prize. Oh my gosh! <laughs> she was the first African woman to win it, and she was from Kenya. Okay, what's the yes. most common greeting? Sasa. Oh, then here Habari. it says Jambo. 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 Jambo is I was going to guess that. No, don't, it's but not. But I didn't want to start this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't say Jumbo. Okay, oh. go ahead. Okay, so <laughs> it's not the most common greeting. It is What's the, the most internet? common. Internet. It is the most common for tourists. Boom. Shakalaka. Boom. Okay, uh, here's uh, an easy one. Yeah. Let's let Rebecca guess okay. this one. I'm scared now. What side of the road do cars drive on? In Kenya. Oh no. Um, I'm gonna say so. Here in America, we drive on the right side. I'm gonna say in Kenya, they drive on the left. Yeah. Is that right? That is correct. Woo! All right. Okay. We're on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Just in general, it says more than how many languages are spoken in the country? Four hundred. Oh, that's good. Wow. Okay. That's way more than what this. <laughs> this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. What does it say? He it says more than 60. It's like, yeah, 400. Yeah, way four, more than yeah, 60. 400 is more than 60. <laughs> I'd say there's more than 60 languages, like, in Oregon yeah. itself. Like, um, wow. yeah, we're all like, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, from 1920 until 1963, what did Kenya belong to as a country what was what did it belong to i'm gonna say britain, britain because that's yes what every other country it, belonged to yep it was a british colony and it had it got its independence in 1963. Wow. okay let's finish this up with a fun one what is this okay well let's ask twee if this is correct really that's <laughs> yeah. what i should yeah. be asking what is the staple meal in Gali. Yay! They got it right. <laughs> no, no, what is that? Uh, oh, it says right it's here. Amazing. Ugali is a type of maize mm -hmm. porridge, which you can serve along stews, meats, and vegetables. And maize is corn. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Oh, nice. bonus fact, it says. Ooh. Again, we'll make sure that it is a fact <laughs> with Twee here. Kenya has never experienced an event of major civil unrest. It is a politically stable country. Tourism is growing and the future looks brighter and brighter for many Kenyans as the country's economy keeps growing. Would you say that's semi-true? Depends on the month. Mm. Yes. Because it says Kenya is one of the most prosperous countries in Africa and has one of the continent's strongest economies. I mean, Africa is a really big place. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's strike that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you were here because yeah. that, that's good. Like, you, 
This is a good lesson for all the high school students out there who are like, I'm going to do a research paper and only have one source. <laughs> no, check your sources. Um, OK, in closing, how can we support your trip to Kenya? Money. Wow. Yeah. OK. So <laughs> no. we do have a fundraising event happening November 10th, uh -huh. Sunday, from 4 to 7. OK. Top golf at Top Golf. At you top say golf in Hillsboro. Top golf. Top golf. Top golf. <laughs> say that five times fast. No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so it's in Hillsboro. Yes. Um, and you can contact Twee for tickets. You can go onto the Breaking Boundaries website to okay. donate money and or buy tickets. Make sure if you do. You tell them Rebecca sent you mm. because all of us need to sell a certain number of tickets. You get an all you can eat buffet with oh, that. Oh, snap. Yeah. Okay. An auction and a you, little. You get an auction? You, you get an entire auction. What? No. no. <laughs> but you get like access to an auction okay. with lovely items such, such as, as <gasps> this. Gorgeous. Did gorgeous you do wood that? burning that I did myself. Oh, girl. I'm really proud of it. That's awesome. It's not quite done yet. I'm hoping to do some, like, a lacquer finish on yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I, of course, have to sign it. Oh, I yeah. I forgot to do that. I guess so. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's already got the hanger on the back and everything. That's awesome. And I'm really excited to see how much it goes for at auction because I don't know how to price art. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. We have a Facebook page, Fairy okay. Boundaries. Um, see that? I love your face. And <laughs> we can put, uh, can we put like a banner or something with like our, a third? Yeah. Weird, it's a weird, yeah, it's a weird website name. So, you know what? I have the internet right oh here. My God. Oh, let's find the it, internet. shall we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, okay. tickets are $100. Um, and then we also are um, trying to get sponsors. So, mm, a sponsor yeah. uh, gets an entire booth themselves uh, their logo is part of the uh, banners and stuff and it's tax deductible it's a thousand dollars but it gives you six tickets nice so you can bring your employees or your friends and uh, have a fun evening so you get a whole bunch of advertising with that yes. one right on so the best way to get a hold of you then would be via Facebook yes awesome so that's breaking boundaries uh, Facebook. Oh, look at that. Thanks, Talent. There it is. <laughs> um, Excellent. Okay, yeah. awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Mm -hmm. I am so grateful that you made time to come talk to me about this, and I learned a super awesome high five and rainbow trick. Yes. That was freaking radical. <laughs> um, also, I would love to say thank you to our sponsors, Grocery Outlet, Bargain Market. They are amazing. They have the best food for cheap prices. I love their puppets. Puppets? Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. The oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, the, yeah of the course. Muppets. Of course. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> thank you to Warden Missions. Thanks. Uh, they are great. Check them out. Um, and thank you again. Yeah. And I'm doing this new thing called the bye dance. Goodbye, everyone, except Twee is going to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. See you next week. Oh, wow. We need to cut and retake. Oh. Is it blurry? I thought those things were self correcting. Yeah, I don't trust them. Uh, I accidentally yeah. left. <laughs> Wait, where's the? There you go. <laughs> <It is. laughs> you know what? <laughs> no, I'm gonna. Speak now, like yeah, this. yeah, so hey. you have to check the tummy and check the yes. chin. The... Oh my gosh, I'm going lightheaded, like sitting like this. <laughs> Uh, hey, it's uh... <laughs>